princess be a bad Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Bad Tammy and I am back with another video. I honestly don't think this is like a weekly vlog. It's more so like a pregnancy, I guess you would say vlog. And I honestly think it's gonna be my last one before I give birth. So I am really excited. So we're pretty much just gonna be getting into, I guess you would say nesting. I mentioned that I wasn't doing a nursery for now. I'm gonna focus on my master bedroom, which you guys seen in the beginning, we did some painting in there. I did go with a more neutral color in there. It was already like a cream color, but I felt it was giving me more like goldish. So I went with a like, um, I think it's a cream white. I think that was the name of it. And I really do love the color. So like I was saying, we are gonna be focusing on getting master bedroom together. My new bed actually finally came in. And then I actually have a whole bunch of other packages in my office to, you know, get that situated. So we're just going to be, you know, getting straight into that. I'm also going to finally be packing my hospital bag with you guys and um, my diaper bag. And at the end, at the top of my head, that is everything, honestly, that I have so far. And, you know, I'll just bring you guys for my days that I'm doing something so like I mentioned my bed is here it actually got delivered not too long ago and my bed is actually cream so I'm gonna start off by spraying this fabric um stuff on it just says basically just spray it on there try to do two layers of it like light layers hopefully this works because I feel like the one that I put on my couch it's like good but i don't feel like it's actually like how it showed on the videos that i've seen but yeah we're gonna start off by putting this on the bed and letting it dry i'm gonna give you guys quickly like a breakdown of the room originally we just had like this bed set and a dresser set from like so long ago i'll probably you know be inserting and then i told you guys a bedroom is being made upstairs and basically the stairs to upstairs 
is the closet room that we had in my room so i don't have a closet anymore we don't have a closet so it was like you know the doorway to the closet we've got that closed off the sheetrock people actually came yesterday closed that off and then it was a hole in the wall they patched that up that has to dry before you know i can actually paint so when i did my second coating of paint i pretty much just did like my three walls not the walls where the putty is at but when they did set up the bed i felt like it would be better on the wall where my window is at so they did put it there and that wall actually is the one that had the minor hole in it i do think i'm gonna go ahead and sand that myself and you know paint over it just to get it over with and then just leave the other side for whenever they come back because it, it does have to finish drying and you know they have to basically finish their job so after we spray the bed i also got a dresser to go in there i pretty much did have my vision on how i wanted it in there my sister carter did help me with like final touches for like accent pieces to put on top of the dresser and you know little things like that with bedding etc the other thing as well is that when i was measuring for a king size bed i just got measurements for a regular king size bed but the bed that i ended up going with as you guys see it has like storage on the side so it's bigger than a king size bed is like the king size plus the storage inches so it is bigger than i expected and it is taking up more space in the room than expected like my room is really not that big but we're gonna make it work and you know i feel like it's still gonna be cute and we're still gonna make it really homey and just beautiful like i said i'm really excited for it as you guys know i haven't did anything in the room like no decor in there since we moved in here so i am excited bed day get delivered like i said so i'm gonna go ahead and insert those clips now So as you guys see the bed is so freaking beautiful i am obsessed with it i really just love like the long tufted look to it it's really giving it to me one thing i would say though the side storage i did think it was going to be like the same as the front one the front one is like real big but the ones on the side they're like really really smaller so that's the only thing that i don't like about it because i was just counting on having like that you know storage because like i said we basically don't have a closet we're gonna go ahead and spray her up so we can protect her so let's go ahead in the room so it says just to shake the can up and spray it lightly
All right, y'all. So one can basically just did all that side right there. So now we're on the second can. Ooh. Ooh. So now we're moving on to the second can. And I'm gonna just try to put it on, I guess, a little thicker. Since I'm not gonna have enough for like two layers. All right, guys, so I'm done spraying the bed. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it looks kind of wet. So I got to hit all of it. The only thing that I didn't get to hit is like this side right here. So I'll probably order another one or try to see if like Lowe's has a can or two. But I feel like as long as we have like something on there to protect it a little bit we should be good so that actually has to dry it does have like a little smell to it so i'm actually gonna turn the ceiling fan on in here just so you know it can get rid of that smell but i did try to move the bed a little forward so i can paint right there but i couldn't do it it's too heavy since we're talking about that i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all if my camera can focus all right, now that we got the camera focused, this spot right here is what I'm talking about. And I do need to get some white paint for that door because it looked dirty. Chi got dirty fingers. Y'all know what he does for his job and he just be touching stuff without washing his hands. So that's really why it looked like that. But anyways, this is where the closet door used to be at, which is right here. As you guys see, it's like mudded up right now. That's what they have to come in and fix. They're going to sand it down and then I can, you know, paint over it. It's kind of going to stay like that until they come and finish their job, basically. I do think I'm going to try to put together this dresser that's going to go like under the TV right here. So it is going to be some building. I also have a bassinet and I'm also going to put together a cart as well full of like baby stuff. So we do have some building to do, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do the dresser first. Cause I feel like that's gonna be like the most complicated one. I went ahead and took all the pieces out of the box and it's basically a six drawer dresser. So it's 16 steps. No, it's 20 steps. And I did go ahead and open the um, door up to let that smell out. So as you guys see, this is the stain that the dresser is gonna have. It's like a neutral grayish color. So step one, get board number one and add six of these screws. But now I'm going to have to use my little tools until she bring me a gun. Because for some reason, mine, it just hasn't been charging. I gotta get these. I'll put some wool. Put right here. I need a flat head. Alright, and then twist it to secure it. Alright, 
All right, so that was step two and three. Step four, we need H56. And I like how this one comes with everything like it's named. Like as you guys see, they actually have the stickers, the numbers, so I can know what I'm dealing with. Not like IKEA stuff, they don't let you know nothing. You gotta figure it out. So we need 29, and it's have to these on the side. No, on the side, Now I don't know if y'all can hear that rain picking up. Y'all see how it has like the numbers 3, 11, 2. So we'll know that's 3, 11, and 2. And then it got like 29 and then like the screws. 29. Like the baggies say like the number of the screws. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step. And as you guys see, is this. The gun has arrived. And it's making the job easier. y'all so i'm done putting the like main part together the actual dresser so now we are moving on to the drawers and it's six of them so i'm seven going here steps and it's like pounding and stuff i'm pretty sure y'all don't want to hear that so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other five so all the drawers are done drawer one two three four five six so then now you just like put it in and then right here we're gonna put a screw so a screw here and on this side as well so i'm gonna go ahead and do that all right guys so we are done i put all the drawers in and that's what it looks like i'm just not noticing though like the drawer doesn't open like all the way So that's the only thing I don't like so far about it. But I really like this little stain on it. Alright guys, so Chi went ahead and put the dresser right here. It's going under the TV. I'm trying to decide if I should go ahead and put the stuff that's supposed to go up here. Or if I should wait. He's currently doing work right now. So he can't even move the bed forward because of course... 
his hands are dirty and stuff. Tyler, it's so warm on here. It's so comfy. That's the only thing really that's holding me up from finishing like the paint on that wall. I don't want to add the sheets and all that before. I want to kind of just wait. So I wonder if I should put together um, the bassinet while I wait. The um, sheetrock people actually put the little putty stuff around here as well. So that's a little update on that. But I'm about to open this. As you guys see, it's pink. I was thinking of doing... I was thinking of doing like a cream color. But then I felt like everything was just going to be like too neutral. And I'm not really like a neutral girl. You know, I'm a pink girl. So, and she's like a baby girl. So I just felt like I should go with something pink. But it does have like this little woody kind of part that I feel like matches with everything else in there. So I like that about it. And I honestly don't think this is going to take us that long. Put y'all down so y'all can see. So this is the color. It's like a dusty pink. Kind of just on like the inside of it right here. Got like a print right here. I should have kept it plain. Unfold the bed frame. Fold the inside foot frame of the bed frame outward. Outward like all the way up. So I guess I gotta add the wheel. Install the bottom bracket on both sides of the holes. All right, so number five is the height stuff. So it has six different heights right here that you can adjust through this part. So it actually has cradle mode. And so you just pull the wheels like that. And then, you know, all of them. And then I'll be able to like rock it like that as well. So that's nice. It also has this thing, a mosquito net. I don't think I'm going to add that. So this is the part that you can bring down right here. You know when it's when I want to put it like bedside. And don't want to have this part up. Put the zipper down. And then it will pretty much be open like that. Alright guys, so I ended up putting the net just to see how I look. But it's pretty much going to go right here. You know, beside the bed. We're just not gonna use that door anymore. But excuse all that stuff right there, but that's pretty much the vibe. Well, let me bring it back out so you guys can see what it actually looks like. All right, so this is what the bassinet looks like. As you guys see, the outside of it pretty much matches, you know, that little wood look. I'm actually about to take a food break. Excuse the lighting. And excuse my greasy face, but my mom made some pozole. She texted me that she made pozole. So I'm about to eat on this because I actually haven't even munched on anything. This pozole gonna hit with this weather. So cheers. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hey guys, so we actually have made it back for my mom's and I am so full. I'm really, really full. So honestly, I think I am going to call it a night. I feel tired putting that dresser together really with my butt. Honestly, it's currently like 9.24. I am going to, you know, say I'm going to call it a night. But just in case I get up and do something, I'll check in with you guys. But I highly doubt it. Um, 
I'm stuffed and tired. So I'm gonna just say good night for now. Maybe you and maybe me and maybe we not my nigga baby and maybe you and me and me and make a baby let's 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 make a baby hey guys as y'all see, I am checked in. I came in just to get checked in for like headaches and my swelling, but I had a high blood pressure, well two high blood pressures back to back, and they don't like that. I forgot what they were calling it, but y'all know I have a history with preeclampsia. So they're basically saying that they recommend giving birth. And I literally only had like eight more days till my scheduled C-section. So I really don't know how to feel about that. But, yep, this is what's going on. They just got me hooked up to all the, you know, little machines for now. So Zana wasn't allowed to come, so he had to go drop her off at Nana's. And now he's on the way back here. But they just came to give me some medicine for my headache. And I feel it a little bit. I forgot what you said it was. But yeah, just updating you guys. I honestly was not expecting this. I thought I was going to be able to go back home. And now I just want to go back home because I just feel like I'm not ready. But here we are. I'll probably just update you guys in a few. But they are saying definitely birth in the next five to eight hours i think so i'll keep you guys updated quick little update they have decided that we are going to move forward with the c-section and they're saying somewhere between 4 4 30 in the morning so for now i'm just going to try to get some rest but for now they're not doing much i'm just going to be sitting here until it's time so like i said i'm gonna just try to get rest um everybody else like my sisters are pretty much on standby but like i said they don't plan to do the surgery till like four in the morning so yeah that's my update y'all can't believe i'm about to finally give birth like i'm currently 38 weeks this today y'all know tazana was born at 32 so we made it definitely weeks further ahead i just honestly thought you know i was gonna be able to come in next week i just was counting on that i had some plans that unfortunately we're not gonna get to make it's a bit of a bummer but you know as long as i'm healthy and baby is healthy and what they're recommending basically is the better option so I'll just be checking in with you guys. Hey guys, so it's much later. It's currently three in the morning. I just went to sleep. I'm about to do my grind though. Because why not? I'm gonna do something slight. She got a um, coming to wear on her mama baddie. <laughs> All right guys, I'm done with glam. This is what face is given. My setting spray was in my stuff, so hopefully it holds for how, however many hours. But right now we're just waiting. Can you see hola? <laughs> my mom is here with me. She been here with me for a while, but her and she's about to switch. You can only have like one visitor back here with you, so they're gonna switch in a few. 
but a doctor's supposed to come in here in a few and just kind of talk about you know what they're gonna be doing so i'll just update you guys whenever that happens So I made Tammy come to the hospital. I'll keep y'all updated in a minute. Don't start looking like that. <laughs> Tammy don't want to tell the real truth, but she a gangster and her feet swole. And you look at this, her feet swole. She's over here, and they said she got to go ahead and have baby. So I want her to rest. So because she didn't want to rest and lay down, her legs is swollen. And I made her calm because I know this is not supposed to look like this. So here it is, big mama house here. Say peace. You feeling good? You don't feel bad? That's good. She not feeling any pain. She don't feel bad. Baby will be here in less than an hour. And Tammy gonna do a good job. So we'll see you guys if we can record on the other side. They said no phones in there. They said a picture, but I'm gonna do a video act like it's a picture. <laughs> We're gonna go in the bathroom and take our last picture while pregnant. Okay. <laughs> I've been in recovery for like one or two hours. And now they're about to take us to our room. Right. So they're about to ride us out. Here's baby. I'm trying to feed her. I still, I still kind of feel a little out of it. So I haven't updated you guys. So see so you guys in our actual room. Aquí la bebecita nueva. Durmiendo. Uh -huh. Hey guys, so we made it to the room. I ain't even give you guys like a little room tour because when I got in here, I just been feeling like nauseous, been throwing up and stuff. So it's just been a lot going on. And then um, 
they've been taking babies um i think it's her blood sugar levels so they've been poking her foot every time she has to like feed and i've been like feeding her but i ordered some breakfast i'm about to try to eat something i think this was wrong i just been drinking fluids so i got me a little barfay and then i got show you pancakes sausage and eggs and they're gonna bring me some ginger ale to help with the nauseous thank it's you diet but mm -hmm. it's ginger ale. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna go get that made. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. In a little while, when I feel better, I'm gonna give y'all my little room tour. And baby's right here. She just got done eating. So now I'm gonna finish eating. And I'll check in with you guys. Hey guys, so as y'all see, I'm feeding right now. Every time she feeds, they have to um, check her blood sugars because they're considering her um, like a big girl. But she's been doing fine. Latching on. And I've been trying to pump too, you know, to get the milk routine flowing and then they brought me my lunch and then um some lunch for my mom as well see over here <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys Tazana's reaction when she gets in. Let's see how the girlfriend acts. So now I'm giving her the bottle after we just did the um, breast. Just to make sure she getting them extra um, calories, they said. <laughs> Nice and full. Say hey to the vlog. Say hey, vlog. <laughs> Visitors. <laughs> Put it right there. Yeah, right that one over here. Scared. I haven't held the baby in a long time. Um, to Claudia, Jake. <laughs> Girl, he was scared in the uh, elevator. About the car. I don't know why. She looked like I think it's just the nose. Yeah. Because I got your nose. Yeah. Come in. Congratulations! <laughs> we want them. She wanna say the name, no reaction. She went crying, supposed to cry. I like that. Roll around. 
She don't like Karen. She don't like the camera turn off. She want to act funny. Her little hat falling off. All right, so Tammy told me to give y'all a room tour. All right, so first you have like this little couch area, and you got like a little table for if you gotta eat, and then to charge your phone. This your view you get of the trifo. Then this is Mama Estrella little couch area. Okay, so then this is the bathroom. You got a little shower. Shower over here. We got a bathroom. And then we got sink. Some toothbrushes. Guess to give him the tour. <laughs> Alright, so what's next? I see the diapers. This is where the baby. What's this called again? Bassinet. Then this is Tammy's area. She's eating soup. Caldo. So then over here, you got like the TV, this little wallpaper with trees. Dang, your closet full. The little Ooh. closet. No, no, no. I gotta, I gotta make some stories. With her bags and stuff. So then to wash your hands, wash your hands while you hold the baby. And then I guess this like the nurse area. So that's the room tour. I'm scared. I thought it was Tazana's turn. Tazana's about to do her first time holding her baby sister. Her little hat keep falling off. Put her hair right here. Put the little blanket under her arm. Put the little blanket. Here, Karen. Under Tazana's arm. How it feel to be a big sister? How you feeling? Good. You open her eyes. My mom yeah. put the little pink so they can match. You open her eyes. She opened them up for you. No, this. Alright, right, y'all, it's way much later. And she's taking her last blood sugar test. So hopefully she passed. <laughs> Cause she was sleepy. She up now though, she gonna cry. Looking at the camera. Hey guys, so today it is currently the next day. The last I spoke to you guys was yesterday when she got her last blood sugar taken out and she passed. And I just fed her, and you know, I just pretty much been up all night. But I couldn't show you guys the nighttime routine really, just because everybody. It was just like sleepy nobody's you know worried about the camera and then me personally i couldn't get up because i still had the I think it's the catheter that's what they call it but i wasn't using the restroom myself so i basically couldn't walk around but they took that out 
this morning at like five in the morning and then they finally um, um, removed the bandage from my c-section so I finally got to see that well I really can't see it but yeah they took her this morning as well they did her hearing test vision test and all of that and they gave her a good path now about to try to get some rest as well I did order breakfast so I'm gonna wait for my food to get here I'm trying to rest but my cramping like on my stomach in the c-section area it has been like a nine for pain so they did give me some medication for that I feel a little okay but it does hurt that's my little update I am now like walking now like barely but I'm walking so I'm gonna try to see if I show you guys a little more of our day today but it's pretty much just feedings and then me eating so I'll probably just check in with you guys like I said whenever I can so doctors just left in here from checking on baby and birth records just came in here i had to fill out some paperwork basically for her birth certificate but i'm still not sure on her name i'm sure of her first name but we're still thinking of middle name so i can't even fill that part out yet i have a minor headache right now well not minor it really hurt just like an eight but I pretty much ordered the same thing from yesterday morning, so the pancakes, sausage, eggs, my parfait, and my apple juice. So I'm about to eat this while she's over there asleep. My mom's asleep, y'all yeah, hear her, she's snoring. She actually left this morning to take Tizana to school. She didn't go to school yesterday, but she this for today and hopefully this headache goes away hey guys it's much later just been resting i got some visitors for the day nana and karen and they came to visit me again and they brought me some food so i'm probably gonna eat in a minute but i did order some lunch from the um, cafeteria as well they brought me a little gift. Open the inside right here first. Yeah, you can. Um, these some little slippers. <laughs> some Hello so Kitty cute. one. But they brought it up until she get a little yeah. older. So cute. That's the smallest option they have. Mm -hmm. Tazan's gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the bottle. <laughs> oh no, this is for... Is it like a bottle or a the, sippy um, cup? Oh, it is a bottle. It's a bottle. A Hello Kitty one. Yeah, it's pretty it much all Hello Kitty stuff. I think just a few. Oh, this is a teether. <laughs> That's really for you. <laughs> like when, when you. Yeah. Cause she love Cause the baby balls. can't use that. But I was thinking like for you, for when you want to take a little bath, relax. This is cute. Is this Hello Kitty white? Oh no, this is pink white. I just got pink, but Karen's like that. You use what? Huggies? Yeah. Or what brand? I just got those because they were pink. Yeah. Justice. What's that shirt say? <laughs> My aunt says I'm perfect just like her. <laughs> Cute. My tia dice que soy perfecta como ella. The blanket. No, that's a, um, it's a towel. It's a bathrobe. Uh, like a blanket or is it a blanket i thought it was a little robe it is a robe or it could be used for both i got like different sizes so like yeah. you know they won't all be newborn like i think it's like some three months 12 months six months that's cute <laughs> which one is that one newborn Three months. <laughs> <laughs> right, she look like she might not fit the newborn stuff. She down chubby. Ooh, it's so, cute. so cute. Six months. <laughs> she already look like she could fit those. Ooh. This is so cute. She might fit this. Yeah, this and I love the little hat. Yeah, some was newborn, some was three, six. 
Oh, that gold is cute. For sure too. I can tell you. And they got the little matching headband. It's pretty much all Hello Kitty sweat. <laughs> Three months. This like she can fit. You think she can fit any of those right now? Yeah. With the bow, it's gonna be so cute. It's pink. She can probably wear one of those soon. So you like everything? Yeah. The balloons. The laser, you like everything? I wonder what her voice gonna sound like. Karen. <laughs> With the gifts. Oh, that's so cute. What did it say? I forgot to tell her. Up close. It was like a diaper, um, yeah, diaper bouquet. Bow, the little pilgrim shoes. <laughs> Cassie. It's cute. Alright guys, so the girls have left out. And now we just chilling. She keep like waking up and going back to sleep. But I think I gotta use the first room. I'm probably gonna put her up or keep her in a bed well. My mom be helping me to get up. I'm going to show y'all how it is the process of me getting up trying to use the restroom. And currently, Chi went to um, pick Tazana up from school. Put up as a nurse coming up. Hi. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I got it. Did he come up for you? Yeah. Sure. Fabulous. Okay. Wonderful. You're okay? Leaving that right here? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, dear. I'll be back with all that stuff. Okay. Okay. But I'm going to show y'all when I get up. Like my little process of getting up. Whenever I do, I'll just fill this out real quick because she said it's a time timer on it or something like that. Hey guys, so it's much later. We got done with the feeding, and she has arrived with Tazana. Say hey, Tazana. Hey. <laughs> She over there snacking. And she actually pulled up with our new car seat. So cute. This is what it looked like. I like that that baby pink color. We need to clean up. It looked like a whole bunch of hair. <laughs> Nana brought you that, Tazana. Let me see it. Nana and Karen brought you that. And then she also had got all that clothes right here. Well, let me show them to them. What? I didn't show them that clothes that you had brought the other day. 
Um, one of the outfits that he got was what they had bathed her into, but she got poop on it. All right, quickly show them. It's cute. Yeah, I picked these out. <laughs> I picked these out. That's cute. He's talking about he tried to stay with the pink vibe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one's a little sister. Yeah, you know if you. Oh, that's cute. That one. The mini. Cute as mini. I like this pool one right here. Oh, yeah, that one need to pull cute too. Look. <laughs> this is a little bow. <laughs> Both. Them bell bottom yeah. pants, and then she had on a look. She wore two outfits already from what he got, but she got poop on them. I actually think I'm gonna eat my food that I ordered, which is pasta, apple, and I'm gonna try to drink some water as well. I'm trying to get my milk going, so that's what I'm about to do really quick. It's much later. My mom is actually giving to us on a bath real quick. I'm about to, um, I really don't need to fix this little bed area for her and she. This is my mom's little area. My little baby's crying. I think I'll play your three. So, since I already got out the shower, um, Nana had got her these PJs the other day. Um, when they did. Um, she had slept over when I had gave birth, so she going to put these PJs on. So this is my mom's little area, and then that's Tazana and she area over there. Show me your PJs. Okay. PJs. I got a dog. He was sleepy. Those are so cute. It's a pants. Put your bonnet on. Put my bonnet. Put my bonnet. Put my bonnet. Put my bonnet. Alright, you need to get on your phone for a few minutes, then it's time to go to bed. Switch, splash, switch, splash. Bye, y'all! So, guys, Nana and Cameron came over here and got this stuff for the baby, and I wanted to do it for you guys. So, we have. They already seen it. Pink pacifier and a mini teddy bear. Oh, you don't sleep in the Some shoes. We have clean these up because it looks a mess in here. If you guys can see it, it's pink, cute. And There's another one looks like the same of this one, but this is the here's this one. This is my section right here. And then her and her little bassinet. Alright y'all, so y'all see the difference on how that looks. I cleaned all of that up. Just to make it easier when we leave tomorrow. It's most likely going to be an afternoon. But I'm going to tell her to warm my food up. My nurse. And then I'm going to eat. And Claudia is actually making me some chocolate. That she might drop off later. To help me with my um, milk supply. So usually like you know liquids and all that stuff helps. She says she's making it so she'll drop it off later. I'll keep you guys updated on that. All right, guys, so much later, Claudia ended up bringing me some food. Well, she brought us some Jason Deli for all of us. And the um, chocolate I told you guys, I put it in here. It's real good. But I probably won't speak to you guys till the morning. Because like I said, it'd be hard trying to set up.
Hey guys, so it's the next day. It's pretty much like our discharge day. I'm not sure what time though, but I went ahead and got in a shower. I just needed to feel refreshed up, like just get that boost of cleanness. Do on this little set. Um, honestly, we were supposed to, we were supposed to be doing a different like coming home outfit, but I didn't get a chance to do it since everything was so unexpected which is a bummer because i had ordered her a custom little outfit but i guess i'll just put one of her little hello kitty ones that nana got her they did say they do like the newborn shoots in here so i might get her dressed for that they're gonna take some pictures of her and then i think we're waiting on like birth certificate which um i'm just putting these on to rejuvenate my eyes a bit but i don't think i have officially told you guys her name and the name that i end up going with is Taleza, and her middle name is ruby so it's Taleza ruby white silver you like your name mama <laughs> but yeah as you guys seen i pretty much did pack our stuff up so she will be taking this stuff whenever it's time but like i said they haven't gave us a time we just know we're gonna get discharged today i think they said hopefully i actually have to pump so i'm gonna pump and then i'm just gonna be chilling i try to show you guys whenever um they take her little pictures i'll show you guys what outfit i end up putting on her but i just wanted to update y'all real quick all right y'all yeah, it's much later and she's finally going to take her pictures. Mm -hmm. All right, sleepy. There's her cart over here. She got a little bit of milk on her face. Do we have uh, wipes in the drawer? Yeah, oh, they, okay. they should be in the drawer. <laughs> oh, she's gonna be crying. She's <laughs> <laughs> just wiggling. That's okay. You're knocking your head down off, though. Oh, she's just wiggling. Oh, she's just wiggling. She gonna add us her name with the letters. There's a name over there, I can't see. Yeah. Look at her doing her little mouth. So now she's trying to put the, all the balloons. Everybody be in love with all the balloons. So she's trying to organize them right there. So then she can put her over there and take her pictures. Alright y'all, this is what she got set up so far. It look a little dark since the sunlight is coming that way. And here she go, waiting on her photos. <laughs> You're so patient. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, quick update. As y'all see, I'm still in a hospital. Yesterday when I thought I was going to get discharged, they ended up giving me a whole run around about my blood pressure and all of that so we had to stay another night as you guys see so i was just a little irritated and annoyed with that so i never came back and you know gave you guys the tea to update because i was really just ready to go now we finally get to go home we are discharged they was trying to give us another run around about um baby's jaundice levels being high but they just did her last testing at two and it says she passed it so we get to go home. We just packing up again and about to head out. <laughs> I know I mentioned yesterday that we were supposed to do some little coming home outfits. It's really not what we wanted, but we just settled for what they had in stores. Just something a little nice for the memory. So I'm getting baby dressed now. She had went to the store. He got to find her this little outfit. It's a pink polo sweatsuit. 
And these the joggers. We're going to see how they fit because it says three months. That's the smallest they had. So I'm about to put this on her. And basically, we just doing like a little all pink look. It's a little kid. I got to I'm gonna get dressed, then we gonna get this on dress too. Everybody just gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna show you guys when we all dress to head out. Hey guys, so I'm dressed. The only thing is earlier, she had got our stuff for us and he got me a small, like boy, I'm not no small. I'm an extra large, <laughs> large. So my shorts are a bit tight. Just the shirt is a little tight as well. But y'all know I'm a shrink. But it just says mom and then date in the back. And then these are the shorts. And we all got the same little ones that we have together. Tizana, show me your outfit. Back up so they can see it. This Tizana's outfit. Cute. Turn around. Show them what it says in the back. It says sis with the date. So I wanted my outfit like hers, like all baggy. You're not bad. I got tight. And then y'all seen baby fit. I'ma show y'all um chief fit in a minute too. Time to go home. Love love on me. You got a gap in there. Walking out to the car, baby's finally got home. Alright, we are in the car. Our first drive. It's a four member family. We are full capacity. <laughs> And she got some, she got some balloons in this bouquet right here waiting on us. Well, it's some, it's some more balloons, but cause it's like cold in here. And hey, Ben, yeah, long. they like inflated. I mean, deflated. But this is the bouquet. Hello, kitty world. Oh, I got the little baby thing right there. That's cute. And he also did end up putting my new sheets on here. You need to be comfortable. But yeah. This the balloons. I pretty much just been settling in. I did have to feed her. She sleep now. But my mom just brought me some food, so I'm just updating y'all. She got me some um, asada tacos. I'm about to eat this real quick. And then it's actually going to be feeding time for her. My mom's probably going to feed her though. I'm going to do a little glam earlier. So I'm going to take that off in a minute. Just because my sheets are like white. And then she had actually got me a, a new pump as well. He got me a portable one that I wanted. So I'll show it to you guys. Because I'll most likely have to pump. But cheers. She got me some broth too. All right, so I'm about to pump. My mom did to laser's feed in. So this is the pump. I got a portable one. Is the mom cozy? So I have rinsed it because I did it earlier. So now I'm putting it together. I take my pumping very serious, y'all. But this, the, like, battery part of it, I charged it. And it actually says it's that it's charged for a long time. Put it right here like that. Then I turn it on. And then put it on my boot. I 
and it literally does it. I don't have to hold it. So I'm gonna just let it go. And I'm gonna just call it a night after I'm done pumping. So I'm done pumping. Take the little battery off. I need to get like the breast bags. But for now, I'll put it in here. You just drain it. Then I'm going to wash it. I think it tells you how much it is. This is two ounces. It got like a little hole at the bottom. So that is it and like i said i'm gonna probably check in with you guys in the morning so good night Hey guys, so it's actually been quite a few days. I really just been trying to get, you know, into this routine, this new little life of mine. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I do feel like I look more tired. Like my eyes, y'all know I already deal with dark circles, but I also feel like you can see that my face has definitely slimmed down a bit. My hands also, my feet and my body just feels like really 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 sore and i think it has something to do with me being just so girl you okay i gotta burp the baby really quick but but i honestly think it's because i was so swollen like my skin was just so tight and stretched out now that it has like gone back down to i guess its original state it's like really sore like i feel so sore especially my legs but yeah that is my little like i guess postpartum update as far as my feelings i have been feeling okay i don't feel like i've necessarily been feeling as sad i have had some few days where i just like randomly cry but honestly don't know like why i don't necessarily feel sad if that makes sense honestly think it's just like hormones I have been dealing with a few headaches, but I've been taking my medicine. But as of today, right now, I feel pretty okay. I kind of wanted to talk to you guys before Tazana got here, home from school, because it is a little late in the afternoon, B about basically how my postpartum is going to be. Hispanics, I don't know how, you know, everybody's culture, religion, all of that plays a different part in how you do things so how we do it they have this thing that is called 40 dias which is basically 40 days it's supposed to be this period of time that mom has to like rest and recover they have a lot of little things that you know you can't do you can't do 
they advise you to not eat etc etc i sort of try to ask my mom about it but she wasn't really no help i feel like she tells me different little things here and there so from the top of my head from little things that i remember hearing and um just because like i said it is something in the in our community that we do i kind of know some of this stuff so in this 40 days period you can't eat beans no pork no eggs no fish no milk no onions so that's food wise and then you have of course no sex you're supposed to tie your head um with like a bandana so i do have a bandana here um this is supposed to help with the headaches which i do try to wear it but it's a little annoying you're not supposed to you know go out besides your appointments walk slow you know just take your time which i feel like that's a given you're not supposed to brush your hair i kind of was like what she told me you supposed to like detangle it like with your fingers just something to help i guess with hair prevention another thing is showering midday between 12 no later than i guess two i asked my mom why she just says that um like the middle of the day is kind of like the best time for i don't know yeah i try to ask as much as i can but certain stuff she wasn't really giving me a reason she just says like that's just what they you know were told and this is just things that you know they grew up with doing when they had kids i think it's just little rules and things that's been passed down generations so on the shower topic you're also not supposed to shower every day and she said no scrubbing she also did mention that to me the most because of like my bumps i guess she doesn't want the bumps to leave like scarring and then she also be telling me not to like pick at them which i feel like that's a given as well so so far those are all the things that i do have on the list so yeah if you're familiar with this comment down below or like what are things that you guys do on your postpartum journey that i can probably incorporate in my 40 days so i guess they do the 40 days or just this thing period because after birth like they consider or they say like the woman body is like open so it's very easy for you to like you know catch bad vibes or get sick get, get illness or you know just grab the wrong energy and put it inside your body that you know then transfers to your baby so that's pretty much the whole thing of it so they just recommend you stay in your you know space with your child and get to have that time to enjoy bond you know with your baby moms right now are very vulnerable but miss little ma'am just got done eating good little outfit so cute we just did some little sun time so i think i mentioned that they were saying something about her jaundice levels being high and that's another reason why i haven't been speaking to you guys because there's just been a lot going on with that they have me coming to like the office for like two days straight just trying to check her levels to try to see if she needed the treatment but honestly we was just telling them like if you guys feel like she needs the treatment like just give her the treatment honestly i'm not in the space like physically to just keep coming to doctor's appointments every day for you guys to check her and you guys are just giving us like the run around like oh we're just gonna check it tomorrow tomorrow like i need to be home resting i had a freaking c-section i just got cut up like i'm not even supposed to be doing this so the last appointment we went to she basically called and was like that her levels were low so i mean her levels were doing pretty okay so they're just gonna check her in two weeks and she basically said like natural sunlight is something that's good for them so i've been trying to sit in the sun with her for at least like 10 minutes i feel like it was just in her eyes which i've noticed they've gotten better uh, um around her eyes they are like a little yellowish which i know that's what the jaundice is so that's pretty much what i've been dealing with and then just like i said my routine you know waking up every two and a half hours so it's just been me trying to get used to this. But today I actually do want to get on here and talk to you guys and actually get something done. As you guys know, I didn't get to finish like my nesting. I do want to put together like my little cart that I want to have bedside. 
because right now I pretty much just been having like my diapers and wipes right here on my bed and i think i just want to do a little bit of cleaning around i just feel like my space is just like cramped up and it really just makes me feel like i don't know if my space is not clean like it just gives me a headache really like let me show y'all my room as you guys can see right here we just have like all baby stuff hospital stuff just sitting right here like my little gifts and stuff so i'm gonna get that organized and like i mentioned my little cart right here because i feel like that's gonna be much better more organized and just it just makes me feel better honestly so i'm gonna finish getting the baby situated and then i'm gonna talk to you guys once i head over to maybe like the living room or my office to get my like packages and stuff together all right guys so it's much later. I forgot that Tazana actually had to go to her gymnastics class. Oh, I gotta put this together. So my sister probably ended up taking her. But, shh, but they're probably gonna be home soon. Let me try to figure this out, y'all. But they literally did not send any instructions. They just sent this little book. And I don't got time for this. It got a QR code in here. I thought that it would take me to it, but it doesn't. All right, guys. So I put it together. I literally put it together by looking at the picture right here. I did order these little baskets of uh, Amazon to, you know, make a little organizing a bit more cute. See? So I'm gonna try to see, like, you know what I actually want to put in what so the top of course is gonna be like um the changing stuff like diapers my wipes So we'll put diapers up here. So wipes beside it. So I'm gonna put these in and I'm gonna actually put the pink wipes on top just to add that little, you know, girly touch. So here are my pink wipes. That's gonna go at the top. And then here I think I'm gonna put like my pump and stuff but right now i'm actually letting them dry so i'm gonna put like the actual batteries right here and then like these storage bags that i have because when i'm done pumping i you know freeze it so i'm gonna put these right here so i'll put that there and i'll put two of my bottles because I'm going to put the actual batteries right here. So I think in the next one, I'm going to put like some burping cloths, some little swaddles, like extra swaddles. These are some blankets. So these some burp cloths, I'm going to end up um, folding them. I'm going to put some extra socks in there as well. And I'll probably put like one or two onesies for, you know, in case any throwing up happens. I'm gonna just keep them like that as well. Put my thoughts right here. I'm gonna add these right here. And y'all hear baby's up, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed her and then finish this. Alright, y'all. So baby's actually was taking forever to eat like always and then Tazan said she was hungry so I just fixed her some food that my mom made me. I'm gonna quickly try to eat before it gets too late. So I got some beef with potatoes and a little bit of rice that she made. She been like my personal chef really. But I will try to show you guys one of these days pretty much like a, what I eat in a day because 
the girl be serious. Yesterday she made me some sopas. So I'm gonna finish eating a hydrate, of course. And then we're gonna finish the bar cart. Then we're gonna finish the um, nursing cart. And hopefully this little girl takes her nap by then. All right, guys, so I actually forgot my hand sanitizer because I'll be taking the sanitizer stuff serious. I'm gonna put that up here at the top. And then I'm gonna put all this other little stuff like um, ointments, healing ointments. This is like diaper for diaper rash. Her little set with all her stuff in there. And then I just got her lotion. I'm gonna just put that right here. All right guys, so lastly, in this little one that's gonna go on the bottom, I'ma just put all my medications in here. Since there's so many. I'ma put that down here. And honestly, I have space for some other stuff, but at the top of my head, I can't think what to put. So I did order this new standing that I was supposed to get customized to take the hospital with me but i never got to take it to her but i still am gonna get it customized but for now oh never mind i was trying to put it down here because i do be thirsty but it actually doesn't fit because this one is too big i didn't know i got the big big one like that but yeah i got this then i'm gonna put it back for now i'm gonna probably just put some waters down there that we did just get but let me show y'all what it looks like right now. All right, y'all. So this is what the nursing cart looks like all done. At the top, as you guys see, we have the diaper, the wipes, and the sanitation section. And then we have like the pumping section right here. Then down here, we have like birth cloths, extra onesies, socks, um, hats with the little mittens, and then extra little swaddlers slash blankets. Then right here we have like little balms, lotions, and all like her, I guess, necessity stuff right here. And then down here we have my medications, water, and then I just put this little plushie down here. So yeah, this is the final product of the cart, like I said. I actually think I want to go ahead and fix my bed up with you guys because I technically never really got to do it. She ended up setting up the bed. For whenever we came home but he didn't put like some pillow covers and like my throw blanket that's supposed to go on there even though my comforter actually needs to be washed right now i'm gonna go ahead and fix my bed with you guys i really don't need to but honestly i did take some pain medicine so i don't really be like you know feeling the pain until they kind of wear off so i am a little okay so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try to be quiet though because baby is in their sleep so as you guys see the vibe in here is supposed to be like a nude and I didn't want to do pink, so I went with like a green, olive green. As you guys see, that's what my comforter is. But overall, it's supposed to be like a neutral color, and then I feel like I can change it up whenever I do want to, but I just didn't want to do like pink, 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 pink. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the bed, and then I'm gonna show you guys like the new pillows that I'm gonna add and like the throw blanket. But I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up, so let's go ahead and do that. And bed is done. It does need to be steamed, but honestly, I'm not gonna do all that. I'm not. All right, so this I believe is some covers. Yeah, some pillow covers. They're beige and like a Sherpa kind of thing. Then this is the throat blanket. Look at that on, on the blanket, milk. Yeah. I'm gonna wait to unseal this. The only thing that I can think of, honestly, right now is when I was ordering the pillows for the bed, I got clean. So they look a bit small to me. So I think I need to get the actual king size pillows. These are, I believe, 18 by 18 pillows. We will put it in here. 
pillows and then I'm gonna just put those in the middle and I'm open the bell blankets it's like a cozy furry one All right, guys, so this is what she looks like. I end up sending a picture to my sister, and she said the same thing that I said. She feels like we need way bigger pillows because the bed is bigger than expected. So I guess we're going to change, like, pillows, maybe have to add some more. But other than that, this is what she looks like. I'm going to go ahead and put the cart over here in the corner. So this is my side of the bed, so that's gonna that's gonna be a perfect length for the cart right there, and then you know the bassinet beside me as well. And then my sister also said she don't like how the cover doesn't match the actual blanket, so I don't know if we'll change that as well. But yep, those are my other little touches to the room that I didn't get to do with you guys before I had the baby. Another thing as well is this door is gonna get painted. As you guys see, this still has no progress. Honestly, thought while I was in the hospital, the um, man would have got it done, but he didn't, which is really upsetting, but whatever. And then this is what this side looks like, where basically the closet door used to be at. He still has to basically sand it, which I think he would do sometime during this week since he is upstairs working. So I'll just make sure to keep you guys updated on that in that so that's another reason why i haven't put curtains up as well because this wall still needs to get painted all right guys so shayla actually stopped by to drop me off this basket for the baby that she made so very cutesy look at this y'all ain't this so cute i am loving all the hello kitty vibes so let's go ahead and dig in the basket this is so cute it's the cheer sippy cup it's like a wine bottle with the Tell little me, i know that <laughs> who gave that to y'all know they lie shayla you see her just drop it off that's so cute that's so funny it's so cute yeah i saw it on tiktok <laughs> y'all know i love me a good drink so we definitely gonna be doing cheers together Oh, uh, these cute little pasties. They got like a bow on it. It's like a pink and a purple one. Mm -hmm. We got the pink bottle cleaners. Mm -hmm. Then we got some bibs. Oh, for in case you don't get dirty when she eat it. Mm-hmm. This is that. a stroller blanket and cap. So it's oh. kind of like a swaddler set, I believe. That's cute. These are some bottles. They got. A, they have like a. I think a baby seal on it. They're supposed to be anti-colic. I think that's how you say colic. And they got like a little pink touch on there. Cute. Then we got some outfits. Okay. That's the one when um, Nana got us, right? Yeah. She did say some of these are similar to like the ones Nana got me. But she said she didn't mention some were different. So we got this one. She got this one in nine months. The one that Nana got me was a newborn size, so she had, so she got two of these. We love that for her. So cute. Right, mommy? Oh, and it come with a matching hat. Oh, we got a so bow. It's a bow set, and it comes with this shirt. Let me see that shirt. It's I a three-piece a... with the that... little mini skirt and the leggings. Was that orange this orangey one with the matching sweats. 
I just hope whenever I'm able to like step out the house, I just get to find more Hello Baby, Hello Kitty Baby Tell stuff. Oh, that one cute. That yeah, one. this is a Barbie one. It's a Barbie dress. We gonna have to wear it. We gonna have to find that at Target to see if they have my size and that shirt. So Sleeping they can be twins. twinsies. <laughs> so then it's this little sweatshirt. They got a little bun. And then I believe these are the bottoms for it. Those are comfy. These and Shayla good. actually got her like bigger sizes, so she's gonna be able to still wear that, you know, a little later. She in can life. wear that when she get two. Look at this one. Oh, it's pink cute. and they got like the gold. Hello Kitty. And then these the bottoms. Those look like leggings. Yeah, it's leggings. We got the kitty right here. This is another one that Nana got her as well. No, that's not the same. But the same. I think I think they did get the same size in. Then we got some socks. Can't ever go wrong with socks. She got us some diapers, size three diapers. She put that on. I'm there. glad she didn't get us newborn correct newborn because the, she done grew out of those already and then she put two pair of um wipes wipes shayla uh, I, shayla done left me speechless y'all she trying to get her baby to be a baddie i'm dude so like i mentioned i'm gonna go ahead and do my feeding i'm most likely gonna end this for tonight i'll probably come and talk to you guys tomorrow just because my nights really be a little hectic before i go let me show you my little well y'all seen the set i'm wearing it after i like that i still have my big stuff because it still fits me good but i do have on this binder that they gave me at the hospital i've been wearing it this is probably like my second day wearing it and i do feel like it's definitely a difference while i wear it like I feel like I have more back support for sure. But I wanted to wear the one the hospital gave me first. And then try to wear the one that I bought myself. I, I think I'm 8 days postpartum. I'm not really sure. But yeah I'm feeling good. So like I said I'm going to just probably come uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. And see whatever we get into. So good night. all right so interview with tammy and Teleza and auntie nana is asking the questions i got my questions now so we just gonna get started so what's your name my name is tamara what's your baby name Teleza. what made you choose that name um i just liked it and I think everybody else agreed with it. Is all your babies going to have the um, names that start with a T? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We was going with the T name. So, we ended up with Teleza. <laughs> On what day was Teleza born? She was born August 13th, 2024. At what time? 5 a.m. As y'all see her. <laughs> Hair. Healthy. <laughs> she wants to show off for the camera. Right. If it was something you could have done different while you was pregnant, what would it be? I feel like I would have captured more memories. So you don't feel like you got enough memories? No. And I said that that said I was going to do that because I felt the same about Tazana. Right. I still didn't. But and why? Like, while I was actually pregnant, I just used to feel like big and just not like myself. But I felt like I should have just captured the memories, period. Okay. So, are you happy? Yeah. Would you do it again? Yeah. Third time. <laughs> Cause this is baby number two so do you want a girl or a boy next i feel like i'm just not like even gonna a, say yeah like a girl mom now yeah but you know we never know what the future holds. so you don't be like you know the moms that already got two girls be like oh i want a boy next no. so whatever 
whatever is fine with you. Yeah. All right. That's kind of the next question. So, are you happy to have two girls? Yeah. Girl mom. <laughs> it goes with your pink vibe. Yeah. All right. So, to laser. For when you get older, you're going to see this video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she look grumpy tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> and then, right here. Your, Your name, name, date, time, wait. She was a big old baby. All right. So, what is it like being a mom of two so far? <laughs> so far, I feel like it's, it's crazy. I know it's going to be crazy for sure. I haven't really did much because I've just been in the house. Mm -hmm. But I can tell it's going to be a lot. No, my, my hands definitely going to be full. So I'm ready to finally, like, really get to experience it, like, being outside, doing things. See, like, I feel like that's the real experience. Yeah. But so far, I feel like I know it's going to be hectic. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she going to be like Tazana, like, Crazy. talkative, <laughs> a lot of energy. Yeah. Or, like, you know, some people, yeah. some babies be different, yeah, like, total opposite of their sister. She was smaller. So she's letting us know she's going to be like Tazana. <laughs> so how has it been for um, Tazana? Like how do you feel like she's taking it? I feel like she's in the middle. Like she likes the, the, the how do you say, the thought of being a big sister. Mm -hmm. But I feel like she kind of gets jealous. And I feel like she actually wants a sister, like somebody to play with. So like this stage right now, I feel like she don't really She's care. not loving it. Yeah. She just wants like her to be grown. Talking, walking. Because the other day she was like, I'm afraid that she grows up because I can't even talk to her. <laughs> She ready. Yeah. She got, it's long. Well, one year when they start walking and then like what? It depends for the yeah, talking the be like talking. one, two years. Yeah. So, this is it. Our little interview. Hopefully, oh, act up. <laughs> right on time. Hopefully, a tradition. I know we did an interview for Tazana's birth. So now it's Talaza's birth. I don't know how we both didn't think to do it in the hospital, but we was like, we're going to get it done regardless. So, any final thoughts? <laughs> Ready to see what life with Teleza is gonna be like. Your new chapter. Say bye, Teleza. Oh, she wrapped oh, her up. Wrapped, she wrapped up. <laughs> bye. bye.